Well, police in Birmingham, Alabama, have newly released body camera video of a confrontation between officers and a high school band director. And a warning, some viewers may find this footage disturbing. In this clip, you can see at least three officers surrounding the band director after Thursday night's game. They say they asked that director to get the band to stop playing music, but he refused. That's when the video shows him being hit with what appears to be a stun gun several times by one officer and then placed in handcuffs. That band director was then arrested and charged with disorderly conduct, harassment, and resisting arrest. NBC News correspondent Blaine Alexander is following this story for us. So Blaine, what more do we know here about what happened and what are we hearing from all of the involved parties, the band director, the police, the school? Well, Zinclay, I just finished speaking with that band director. He said that he has gone to a doctor's appointment to kind of check up on basically his health after the tasing incident. But he says that he's traumatized by what happens. But more importantly, to his point, he says that his students are traumatized by watching all of this happen. So I'll start with what police are saying. Police are saying that it all unfolded after uh, a football game last week where the police told both band directors to stop their bands from playing. They say that this band director, Johnny Mims, who was part of the visiting team, did not stop. They tried to get him to do so, and that's when things escalated, that he resisted putting his hands behind his back, according to police, and so that's what led to the tasing incident. But when I spoke with Mr. Mims, he said that this was part of a planned arrangement between the two bands, something that's typically known almost as the fifth quarter. They expect the bands to keep playing for several rounds between the two of them as the crowds begin to leave the stadium. He said it was nothing unusual, nothing out of the ordinary from what they typically do. In fact, he had coordinated with the other band director as well. So so he says that when officers came up to him, he was on the podium, he was directing, and he said that he told them, this is our last song, we're going to stop after this. But then he told me what happened next. Take a look. Before I knew it, uh, I did see the officer uh, tase me. Uh, I went down, and, before, uh, and after that point, I was tased uh, additional two more times uh, by the same officer and then a, a different officer. Um, at this point, um, I, I mean, I was, I, I can't even remember after that, that point because I was so stunned and uh, so baffled. All I remember is hearing all of my students uh, screaming, all of the parents crying. So there are a number of investigations into this in Clay. The school district is doing its own. Birmingham Police Department also investigating, having an internal investigation there. We understand that Mr. Mims is placed on administrative leave, as is procedure uh, during incidents like this, during investigations like this. And his attorney is asking that the officers involved be placed on leave as well. We're going to hear more from the band director uh, and uh, his supporters tomorrow during a press conference tomorrow morning. Sinclair. All right. Well, we know you'll stay on this. A really important story. Blaine Alexander, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.